Giuaco piano game, Evans accepted, Anderson variation, Cordell line. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. Beginning the Italian game is bc4, which immediately begins to attack the f7 pawn and get ready to castle. bc5 attacks the f2 pawn and helps control the important d4 square. The Evans gambit starts with b4, which attacks the bishop on c5, if black captures this pawn white will play a quick c3 to attack the piece followed by d4. Bxb4 captures the b4 gambit pawn. c3 attacks the bishop on b4, prepares the d4 pawn push and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. b7 retreats the attacked bishop to safety. d4 attacks the e5 pawn, gains space in the center and opens the c1h6 diagonal for the bishop. na5 attacks the bishop on c4 to make it move away from the dangerous a2 f7 diagonal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is the last book move. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. It is an inaccuracy. This secures a pawn. It is quite good. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing queen, forcing her to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. That is good. This misses a chance to make a rook the prize. It is incorrect. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This requires an open file a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. This threatens to win a bishop. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is a mistake. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is a great move. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a knight. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. 
it is a mistake. This threatens to win a bishop. It is a miss. This leads to losing a pawn. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to connect rooks. It is a mistake. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to gain a pawn. It falls flat. This ignores a superior approach to providing an equal exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This is how you take the pawn. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Capturing that pawn wins material. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable bishop. It is best. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This threatens to win a rook. It is a miss. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. This threatens to win a bishop. This stops the opponent from being able to win a rook. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is quite good. This loses a knight. It is a blunder. That was a free knight. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 